Now it's an unpainted surface. It won't look perfect, but let me show you how to fix this cheaply and okayishly. I need this hair dryer. Turn on the hair dryer, warm up the plastic, and push from behind. Behold. Make sure you move it around so you're not burning one spot. There you have it. Push back out. Still see it's standing in a little bit, but nowhere near as bad. I'm gonna keep warming it up and put some force behind it to Try to round it out a little bit and it should be good. Yeah, there we go. Barely noticeable anymore. <clears throat> Zero dollars, free repair. Just a hair dryer and a little time. Now we just need to grab some clips out of the clip bucket and reattach this guy. If I can get the camera in the right spot. There we go, this guy. And that guy to this guy. And it'll be golden. I know it's not right, but it's all right for right now until I order more clips. But yeah, now the bumper's hanging on just like it's supposed to be. So we'll uh, trim these off. Do, 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 do. Focus. Bam. There we go. Wouldn't know the difference unless you look underneath it. I ran out of the clips that fit. All right. There we go. Now you can see. Looks good. Excellent. Oh boy, look at this. Oof. What do you think? It's got a Mitsubishi logo on it. Original maybe? Don't know. That's getting replaced. I gotta order one. So in my never-ending quest to pretend I'm a used Mitsubishi dealer, I guess, I ended up finding this thing. It's a 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander. Not the Outlander Sport like this guy, but the big Outlander. And not only that, it's the GT. Oh yeah. It's got the towing package on it. Fancy power tailgate, which needs a new, uh, this thing. It squeaks. It's got the Rockford Fosgate audio system. It's got three rows of seats, leathered up, of course. It's got a couple little flaws. I gotta order this piece because it's missing. It's a little plastic bit that goes in there, which was a whole ten dollars. And then I don't know if I can grease these, but probably not. I think once they start squeaking there. They're kind of toast. Holds the gate up just fine. You can see it goes up with authority. It's that one that does it. Okay. Leather up front, of course. Electronic parking brake, which works. Heated seats. It's got the 
sunroof. It's a pretty sweet car. It's got a hundred. Oh, this is not like focusing today. 117,622 miles. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I'm more than a, more than happy with it. So it definitely needs some work. It was cheap for a reason. Uh, the interior is in pretty good shape. A little bit of wear on the driver's seat, which is to be expected. I mean, it is used. Other seats are all pretty good. I'm going to condition them all up. Here's the middle row. And then the, the back row there. Hold seven people. Most importantly, V6. Yes. No four cylinder on this one. It's got a scuff there. I'm going to try to buff out and touch up better. Little, little nicks and stuff here and there. You can see there's some slight wear on the seat here, but I know they can touch that up. Yeah, it's got Apple CarPlay and all that crap. Sirius XM. All that fancy stuff. Dual zone climate, radar cruise control, home link mirror. I don't have to add one this time. And uh, yeah, and the best of all, OCVT, actual six speed automatic transmission this time. So, I'll be doing more videos on this as I clean it up and do the required maintenance and stuff. I'll show you the motor real quick. There we go. V6. They put, the dealer put a new battery in it. So, that's good to go now for a while. The air filter's nasty, which you'll see in... The most important thing that needs to get done is, unfortunately, it does have a timing belt, just like the older V6s they made. So, there's no records of it ever being done. I'm not taking chances. Um, I had the car towed home, actually, when I bought it and ordered the timing belt kit. So, that'll be changed uh, as soon as possible, since Mitsubishi says to change it at... 105,000 and it's got 117 and barring by the Mitsubishi logo on the air filter I would be willing to bet it was never touched so rather be safe than sorry yeah I'm uh, technically I'm the second owner of the car uh, the first owner traded it in a Carvana then this small dealer that I bought it from got it and they had it for since January and uh, no one wanted to give it a home because uh from what the dealer told me, everyone that came and looked at it didn't have good enough credit to buy it. So, works out for me. Um, like I said, I got a hell of a price on this car. Um, according to my bank, the retail value of this thing was $22,000, which is nuts. I don't think it's worth that much, but that's what they said. But I got the car uh, with taxes and new plates and title transfer and everything for about eleven grand. So... <laughs> I mean, I got no complaints. Hi, doggy. But yeah, more on this uh, as time comes out. We'll be doing all the maintenance to it, videoing it for you, and showing you my new uh, family ride. Good for hauling people and dogs. So that's it for now. We'll uh, see you soon. One last thing real quick. The original window sticker was in the glove box which is pretty awesome, so all the books were there. The owner's man is a little chewed up, but the rest of it's in good shape. Check this out. This thing was almost $35,000 when it was new. Holy moly. But, yeah. 
Uh, I love this thing. I, I can't wait to have the maintenance done on it and start driving it. It's really cool. At least I think so.